Hey guys, how you going? Oakley doke. I am gonna draw. Oops, my thing is just doing its thingy. <laughs> yeah, I, I allowed the extra time, but um, I think they were running a little bit behind today. So I thought if I left it till 9:30, I'd be right. <laughs> but um, anyway, not to worry. So I am doing a meerkat today. So what are you guys up to? How are you going? <laughs> yeah, I was just I was just watching actually. I was just over there and I thought, oh no, oops. <laughs> it's running late. So I'm doing this little guy. So you're trying to just decide a, a subject or whatever takes your fancy. <laughs> so this little guy, I um, got the ref, I took the photo of this actually, where I have, uh, um, our zoo has a little cafe and the meerkat enclosure is right next to the tables. <laughs> So you can sit, and these guys are literally right next to you. It is so cool. I've had neo colours out earlier, changed to watercolour, and now I'm sitting here looking at acrylic. <laughs> Do it all. Go rogue. <laughs> Do it all. The day is, well, I would just say the day is but young, but <laughs> but it's not probably there. You're probably in the middle of the night. Um, new cats are so cute. They are adorable. They are just absolutely adorable and funny. Very quirky little dudes. <laughs> Very quirky little dudes indeed. It's half 12. Lunchtime half 12 or half 12 midnight? <laughs> um, yeah, where, what are we? Where? Well, it's 9.30 a.m. here on Saturday. I've lost track of days. My days are all blending into one. <laughs> So are you thinking animals or, oh, okay, yeah. So you, you're leaning towards animals or possibly um, a still life or you're, you're not totally not decided? I say just do whatever makes you happy, <laughs> whatever makes you artistically happy. So he's standing on a rock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, parrot, Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Actually, he's on a bit of an angle, isn't he? Parrots are beautiful. So he's standing on a rock, but I haven't left enough room for his rock. So I'm just going to do his little feet in. And I might chuck another one over here. So he's not standing on his own, but I'll do this one first. Oh, wow. Excellent. Oh, that'll be cool. And see, we got our, our reference for the um, Inktober 52 and it's spider. And I'm like, oh, no. Hi, Jane. How are you going? And I'm like, no, it's spider. I don't like, I, last thing on earth, I want to draw as a spider. So I thought I'll go with spider monkey. <laughs> I need something fluffy and sort of a little bit cute. There's no way I could do a spider. <laughs> when I first saw it, I thought, no, all the all the, the prompts are really icky. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll figure something out. So that's one meerkat. Now I've just got to find me other photos, try and get one that's looking a little bit different. Okay, there's one facing sideways, so I'll do him as well. So it looks like there's one slightly taller one. Hello, fam. Hey, Laurie, how are you going? Uh, I'm meerkatting today and I haven't decided on, I'm thinking either monotone, like just go pen, ballpoint pen, or my ink pens. So I'm undecided as yet, but I'm looking at these guys thinking they're beautiful, just grey tones. I might stick them, I might do them with pen 
ballpoint just for something different. I've been doing a bazillion ballpoint pen things. But um, it's all great practice. I love meerkats. They are so cute. For one of my daughter's birthdays, we did a zoo experience and we went and it was like it was it wasn't a whole it wasn't very expensive and we got to go in and sit with the meerkats in their enclosure and they were climbing all over us. I got tons and tons and tons of photos of these guys sitting on my lap and sitting on my husband's lap and yeah, it was so adorable. <laughs> they are just so hilarious. They are awesome little critters. So these are photos I took. Yeah, I think I think I'll have to do. I'll have to do them in pen. I'm thinking pen's look, pen's looking good. Pen's definitely looking good for these guys. And that that way, this will be my penbury piece too. So multitasking, <laughs> multitasking, and I never get sick drawing these guys. I love drawing these guys. Never get sick of drawing them. And these and mice are probably my favourite funnest things. <laughs> Oops, oops, my picture just went disappeared. Oops, no, I don't need to turn that off now. Whoops, 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 I pressed the wrong button. Excuse me, guys, just sorry for a second. That, there we go, I'm back. <laughs> you need to feed your ferrets. Oh, cool, I love ferrets. Ferrets are beautiful. My husband used to have ferrets. We've still got all the ferret boxes because he used to take them out hunting way back 30-odd years ago. But I just love them as pets. I'll catch you in a little bit. Oh, it was awesome, Jane. It was so much fun. He's got a fat belly, this one. He's got a big fat belly. And they've got little stripes down their backs. Right, so, I, okay, we're, we've got to, I've got to flick back to photos. So I've got my camera. So I'm working. These are the, oops. These are the photos I took. So I've got, I'm working from that one for that whoops that that doesn't work yep you can see and that one I've popped oh no I haven't that one and where's the other one I <laughs> can't find the other one. Oh, and that one so they're the photos I took yep off you go <laughs> go get your air conditioner happening we've got a cool day today it's lovely we've got a nice cool day I think we're in for 30 something tomorrow which is I forgot what that is, it was probably in the high 80s Fahrenheit. So it's not so bad. I don't do heat very gracefully at all. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy, I just chopped me, I'm just trying to screenshot. So I've got my photos next to each other and um, I accidentally cut his head off. <laughs> so I need to get his head back. There we go. Now I've got his head back and now those photos will be together and I can work a lot easier. Hi, Am. How are you going? Okay. So I'll just draw his. <laughs> Great to see you here. Thank you for coming. Okay. I'm going to grab my ballpoint pen and I'm going to go for my good old handy dandy. I've got a fluff on my thing. I've got it, my good old handy um Standard old four four ink pen. <laughs> okay, so I just start in now, and I didn't need to alter anything, so that worked out well because I thought I'd do them in pencil first because <clears throat> they can be. Um, Hi, Darren. How you going? Thanks for coming. As a square box. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to go over the outline. Do you still battle wildfires in Australia? Yeah, they're still going. They'll probably burn until winter. They'll probably burn. They've got them contained now, I'm pretty sure. Um, but there's still a handful burning here in Victoria. And they'll probably, yeah, they'll burn pretty much till the end of the season now. Because they've been going for nearly six months, so yeah, not 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 going to end anytime soon. But we've only got a few more weeks of summer, and then probably half of autumn. So yeah, so we got we've got 
a few more weeks of worry. But we're a tough lot. <laughs> I'm not a cube, Darren. I'm a bubble of sparkles. <laughs> I live in a bubble of sparkles anyway. Uh, well, see, it's been bizarre because other states, like down here, we've had in Victoria, we've had some rain, which has been wonderful. Not a whole lot, but you go up north where Laurie and that live, and it's had, they've had like floods. It's been insane. So it's literally one part of the country, one extreme to the other. It's been absolutely incredible. Bizarre. We've had the strangest, strangest seasons. Oh, yeah, because you guys are in winter, Jane, aren't you? You're right and smack in the guts of winter. You've had floods as well, yeah. It's been inc – the whole world is just doing this whole weird the, – the, the climate's just gone skew-if, big time, mega skew-if. Oh, did you end up – did you end up getting your car unstuck, Laurie and, and Darren? <laughs> Did you end up getting your big car unstuck? I just saw a photo on the road and roundabout not far from here. Only the road and the roundabout is above water. Wow. Yeah, ah, oh, I love spring. Love spring. Baby animals everywhere. Lambs. Baby bunny rabbits. Even though they're a pest, but they're cute. Baby kangaroos. Love it, love it, love it. It's finding out of the bog. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. So I'm just doing different strokes, just getting lighter and lighter for the lighter parts. This is so meditative and relaxing, guys. I just find pen drawing so incredibly mesmerising. Probably like pulling teeth to watch. <laughs> but it's incredibly relaxing, just using all the different text techniques. Even watch the wheels. That's good. Are these guys endangered? Oh. Because I, you know, I hadn't done any research on meerkats. Oh, okay. That'd be sad because they're so cute. But I wouldn't be surprised because people, people are encroaching on everything. Humans are just taking over all the habitats. We're running out of space for people. So all the animals are paying the price, which is such a shame. Oh, yes. I know. They were so cute. I couldn't pick one picture. I had to do the lot. And they were so – I was as I was looking at them and doing the research, I was actually really sad because I didn't realise how many of our animals are endangered. You know, I knew that a few were, but I had no concept of the devastation and how many. And, you know, they're just they're beautiful little things. Like when I went through chemo, if I sit and draw chickens, outline pencil – yeah, awesome. I, you know what? I still haven't drawn a chicken. <laughs> and I love chickens. I've done all other kinds of birds. I've actually, um, Aurora at Aurora's Art World suggested a bluebird. I've never done a bluebird, so I might do a bluebird, but I'll do it in blue pen. So that might be on the agenda. But um, I haven't done a chicken, and I love chickens and roosters. They're beautiful animals. Laurie's got a couple. <laughs> Uh, very, very loud and unusual sounding roosters. <laughs> They're fantastic. Uh, but, yeah, we always had chickens and roosters when I was a kid. They're just wonderful animals. Darren, stop it. <laughs> Shush. Naughty Darren, naughty corner. Don't talk about eating pets. <laughs> Can't do that. Here in the UK building everywhere. I know. It's just, it's just the whole world. It's gone nuts. It's gone nuts. 
Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> I've been attacked by a rooster and he had his he had he still had his big talony things too. They can hurt. I ended up having to take to him with a tea towel. <laughs> If they keep him at a distance, just sort of wave me tea towel around, but he kept attacking the tea towel then. He hasn't got a name good. You can eat him then if he's a nasty one. But he'll probably be tough if he's a rooster. <laughs> we shouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> uh, that's the beauty of living on a farm. I think Laurie and I are both farm stock. <laughs> yeah. He'll, yeah, he'll grow out of it. Roosters are amazing. They are such wonderful, wonderful, noble little animals. And their chicks are so cute. My grandma always had bantams. We just had your standard white chook. I don't know what their breed was. And we had a couple of eyes of browns. But um, my grandma used to have the bantams and they were just stunning little creatures. He's only five months old and succulent. <laughs> <laughs> You're evil. Funny, but evil. Yeah, they're, they're heaven. And my little quail crow like roosters. My little male quail. I've got, or I had queen quail. I don't have quail anymore. But I had king quail. And they used to bellow. They sounded like roosters. And they, they could make some noise for little tiny things. They had little magnifiers in their voice boxes, I'm sure. I actually had one little chick. And I had to rear her. She, for whatever reason, the mum wasn't taking care of her. So I brought her into the house. This is a baby king quail, so they're only about five centimetres tall. They're tiny little things. And um, it just looked like a little fairy banana because it didn't even have, it only had its pin feathers. And when it crowed when it was hungry, oh, my God, did that thing make some noise. It woke the whole house up. <laughs> Hi, Nettie, how are you going? Thanks for coming. So I'm doing a ballpoint pen piece today, having a bit of bit of fun with the old ballpoints again. Because I thought these meerkats would 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 cater to that pretty well. You love house chickens. A house chicken, are they the standard white ones? I don't know. What's what's the I don't I'm not really good at the breeds of chickens or chooks. Not very good at the breeds at all. Mind you, having said that, went to a, a country fair the other day. Oh, not the other day, the other week, and there was this rooster, and I swear he was two feet tall. He was massive, absolutely massive. I saw some newly hatched quails a while ago. Oh, they are so too. I call them little hairy bananas because they look like teeny tiny little hairy bananas because you can't even see their little beaks. They're that small. Oh, cool. I just, oh, they're just the most a be beautiful little thing. I used to, I have a big aviary. Out the back, my husband built me like it's feet by 12 feet square and about 15 feet high. So I had the quail on the floor with all logs and we've got a little bit of a habitat in there and all my canaries and finches and their nesting boxes up high. So but I ended up giving them to a friend because they were bringing the, the, the mice in and the rats and I was concerned about getting snakes because we get an awful lot of snakes here. So I really didn't want snakes around the aviary and around the house. And, I, and, and my, my quail were breeding like crazy. So I, I ended up with like 16 or 17 quail. They bred really happily. So, but, yeah, I was concerned about snakes in summer. So I ended up giving them to a friend who now has them living happily ever after at her place. <laughs> and canary babies, oh, my God, they are so gorgeous. Yeah, mine, well, mine is, we've got the teeny tiny little ring net um, mesh stuff and I've got it doubled up so they shouldn't be able to get in but they'd still be attracted by the, the scent and we've got garden beds all around so I was terrified because, they, you know, they'd still come into the movement and the scent, even if they couldn't get into it. You know, I've got dogs in the backyard and things like that. Because my two little jacks would bail up a snake if they got it, if they saw one, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, we have massive snake problems. 
I mean, they're lovely and all that, but they do tend to come in. Like we've had a, a brown snake in, a, in our pool and they're about, hello, Grace Kale, how are you going? But, um, yeah, we got last year we got a brown snake in our pool and they're one of the deadliest snakes in Australia. Luckily, my daughter saw it and jumped out real quick. And um, we've had a couple of blacks on the driveway, but they're, they're passive. They don't hurt you. But, yeah, and we had a tiger snake go across one of my friend's feet. We were standing outside after a barbecue and this little tiger snake just went straight across his feet, didn't bother with him. But um, he danced a bit afterwards, like was sort of dancing and screaming just a tad. But <laughs> Yeah, and that's what scares me. That's what scares me. I'm, I'm, I can't have my little dogs getting hurt. So we've we've proofed it as much as we can to you know to deter snakes from coming into the back area. You can't stop them from getting out the front. But we've put sort of stuff that they'd have to climb over and it feels yucky to their skin. So like it's like fly mesh and they hate it. The snakes don't like it. So we've put that, we lined the bottom of our fence with that. So they shouldn't come through. A friend nearly stood on a red belly black, yeah. I've nearly done that. I've nearly done that. I was walking. I had a blue healer, which is a type of dog here, a cattle dog, and I was walking down the paddock, but the blacks are so timid. I nearly trod on it, and Chloe, who was my dog, sort of riled up at it, but it, it just took off and hid. So, yeah, this, the red, the, the black snakes don't bother me at all. I'm quite happy. I could have a million of them and not, not worry. They're really placid. They're venomous, but they're really placid. So I'm quite happy to have the, the red belly blacks around. Browns will chase, absolutely, absolutely. And so will a tiger snake. One of my friends was chased on their motorbike by a tiger snake. <laughs> So I'm just adding a little bit of texture in. I'm just doing the first layer, like a painting. So you treat, hi, Jane, and, and they are damn fast. They are very, very, very fast. He ended up, my friend that was on his motorbike, ended up grabbing his pants leg and hanging off his pants leg. So, but luckily it didn't get him. It just got his trousers. Didn't actually inject any venom. So he was a very lucky lad. So, yeah, I'm just doing, it's like painting. You just do the base layer and then you can start building up your tones. So if I've missed anyone, I'm sorry. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm sort of with pen. I'm sort of looking down a lot focused. You just convinced me not to go to Australia. Yeah, nah. And I had, I had a huntsman land on me which is like a, a big spider. They, they don't hurt you, but, oh, my God, they're too, they're so big. Like, they're the size of a dinner plate. And I had one land on. Actually, over the years, I've had two land on me. I had I opened the front door and there was one living above my door. We actually named him and he was fine. He didn't bother anyone. But, yeah, he decided I went to walk out the front and he fell on my face. <laughs> so I flicked him off, and he, but he's out the front now. So um, and then I had one living in my car. And he was the size of my hand. And I drove to work. And I was telling this story the other day. And, God, it was funny. And he lived in the car. And we tried to fumigate the car, but it didn't work. And this one day I've gone to work and I felt this scuttle across my arm. And I thought to myself, oh, no, it's that spider. So, anyway, I get to the car park. I pull up and it runs across my face. I have never, I swear, I jumped out of the car screaming. The spider was screaming as loud as I was. And I, I flicked him out of the car and I was jumping up and down, slapping myself in the head. <laughs> but, yeah, that one didn't didn't go so well. Um. <laughs> oh, you got bitten by one. Ew. Yeah, I've never been bitten by one. Like I catch them. I'll catch them and put them outside. I don't Because, you know, to me they're just they're eight-legged, you know. They, huntsmen's don't I don't they're, they're, I don't want them on my face but <laughs> and yeah but I have one that lives behind a painting and I'm, I'm like yeah, I'll just leave him alone 
he eats the bugs if there's any bugs get in. But um, he's obviously a happy little camper. But the one I flipped out the front door, well, he lives outside now. He doesn't because we've got a brick house, so we're all double brick. I have a friend, Lily. I was wondering if you can subscribe to her YouTube. It's Lily Brook, the Diamond Dragon. Cool bananas. I'll check her out after, kiddo. I get rid of them. I call hubby and he kills it. I can't kill them. I can't kill them because they're crunchy. <laughs> yeah, I, I pick them up and take them outside. I can't squish them. I can't squish them. I can't do it. Any spider, actually. I hate. I, I just can't bring myself to do it. But we don't get, we've got like funnel webby things out the front. They're Victorian funnel webs like trapdoor spiders. And they'll attack you. That's why I don't get out in the garden. And if I do, I wear very thick gloves because of the snakes and spiders. Hi, Desert. How are you going? You'd rather eat crunchy. No. <laughs> oh, crunch, as in uh, honeycomb crunchy, yes. Spider crunchy, no. Like people from other countries who eat bugs, ew. <laughs> and like chocolate coated ants and things like that, ew. Can you oh, can you imagine the crunchiness and grasshoppers? So I'm just working in the lines. You you've had crickets. Okay, I've got to ask, what do crickets taste like? <laughs> do they have a flavour? I've heard that they're nutty, sort of. Happy to catch and release spiders. Yeah. If I change my tune. Yeah. Well, ours just get so damn big. That's the scary part. And I think you have, you call them black widows, but we call them redbacks. I think they're the same spider. We get lots of those, but they're really timid. They just live in dark spots. You don't ever see them unless you pick up a rock or a pot or under something that you haven't touched for ages. They'll get under them, but they'll make you sick. They won't kill you. But our funnel webs, you've got about 20 minutes to get to a hospital. So, and otherwise you're pretty well wrecked. And one of those funnel webs, my sister lived in New South Wales and um, she had a funnel web on her cupboard and it jumped at her, it jumped about a metre to get to her. Like they are aggressive little dudes. And they're, or they're not little, they're horrible. They're hairy, black, fat, yucky spiders. Google funnel web spider. They are the yuckiest looking things. And we've got the Victorian version in our garden. And they are nasty, nasty, nasty little things. They were freeze dried and partially ground up. Ew. <laughs> Even the thought of that makes my skin crawl. It was like a boring praline. Oh, so, oh, cool. Well, not cool, but they had about 100 redbacks in your garden. Ew. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't imagine. Did you, did you just, oh, I don't, I don't, I can't even, I, oh, Zargo, that's freaking me out. <laughs> Were they chocolate, no, they weren't chocolate coated. See, I could probably go in if it was chocolate coated, but No. <laughs> <laughs> oh god now my tummy's gone all funny just thinking about it <laughs> so i'm just going to darken up under this one's arm so i'm working anyone who's just arrived i'm working from a couple of reference photos i took at our zoo can you say yeet yeet crikey that's yeet <laughs> can i say yeet i'm 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 confused Ope. <laughs> So I'm mixing up, starting to add different tonal values, mixing up my tonal values now. So starting to add a bit of texture and a bit of depth. It was a gift from the company who we bought feeder bugs from. Oh, of course, because you've got snakes. They're awesome. Yes, my auntie actually had a python. I can't, couldn't tell you what kind and I can't remember his name, but he was beautiful. Snakes are actually, they're magnificent. Like I'm, I don't want to get bitten by them, but they're, they're magnificent. I have been bitten by one years ago, but that's a whole other story. Don't want to go into that. That was yucky. So my boss served them for Christmas. Their name and logo was on the chocolate, so I did figure it was exotic. Wow. <laughs> Gila monsters. Yes. Yes, I have Gila monsters. Are they the lizards? I'm having a moment. That's very familiar. 
very familiar. Because we get all kinds of lizards as well. Which the snakes like eating. Yeah, I'd freak out. <laughs> I'd freak out, I must admit. Not my kind of cuisine. <laughs> Definitely not my kind of cuisine. I prefer to eat cute fluffy things. <laughs> not, not hairy things with eight legs. We had one gila in the shop for years. Oh, cool. Do I have two channels? No, I've only got one channel. I've got, um, I've started up a Twitch channel because Twitch is purely live stream and I love live streaming like this, but you're not limited to time. So I can get on and Laurie's started up too. So if you go, if you go on Twitch, the Laurie Files and myself both have Twitch channels now and Mystic Unigon's on here. Um, so we've gone on to, or we're on Twitch as well, as well as we're not stopping here by any means. But we can we can stream for five or six hours at a time, so you can do a whole piece and share, um, yeah, just live. You basically just and you can yeah, it's just it's just really relaxed. There's no time limits, so it's just it's a really good platform. And so yesterday I did about five hours on there, and I take my time and really um, can do better pieces and just really yeah take my time and not be worried about. And everyone streams at once, you know, no one's sort of trying to slot in anywhere. Everyone just goes on and you can pop around and look at everyone else and it's good fun. Yep, so Twitch, love it. You should you should look into it, um, actually, Anthony, because because your paintings, you know, you can do such intricate things and the work over there is absolutely stunning. Some of the artists, like they'll get on there and they'll do, they'll spend three days, so you watch them for three days working on commissions. You know, it's just a, it's a real, real artist's sort of colony. It's amazing. There's a lot of digital, an awful lot of digital art. Um, there's, but there's, there is a handful of, ex, 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 what's the word? Exquisite, exquisite um, portraitists and artists in all mediums, oil, everything. Yeah, I'm going to use it for add-ons and games. Yeah. So, well, have a look at the art side of it, honestly. And I can see you, Anthony, it really would suit you because your art is just so incredible and your landscapes and and you don't I don't see a lot of that over there. There's, you know, there's there's so much room for growth as well. But like, do it all. You can do it all. You can do here and there. We're doing here and there. Like I'll finish here today and this afternoon I'll go on Twitch and just work on my own pieces. The climb to affiliate is real. Yes. <laughs> the eternal struggle, trying to get monetized everywhere. <laughs> Links, Laurie, I have no idea how to do that whatsoever. Actually, speaking of such things, while you're here, I'm going to see if I can. Is it okay if I make you one of my doodars? My. Um, um, what do you call it? Actually, I don't know how to do it. No, I don't want to report you. I want to make you into something. Hang on. Um, oh, no, okay. I don't know. Oh, I did it. I did it. I made you a thing. Go me. Okay. Hope you don't mind, Laurie. <laughs> oh, cool. So you know it. Yeah. So I've, I'm just finding I'm really enjoying it. Laurie got me onto it. I hadn't, I mean, I'd heard of it, but I had no idea that it was for art. I thought it was just gaming. But, no, there's an art channel on there now. <laughs> I thought I'd accidentally, like, blocked you or something. And I'm like, oh, no, I've just pressed the wrong button. So thank you for that, Laurie. So I'm just following the texture of his fur. You have a spanner. <laughs> but, yeah, like, uh, last night. I, um, or yesterday afternoon, I watched an animal portraitist and he'd done some amazing, amazing photographic, like photorealism in acrylic. And, like, yeah, I, I just, you can just sit there mesmerised on their technique and stuff. And then the other day there was a, char a graphite, my girl doing graphite, and it was like photorealism. 
but yeah, I just love watching. I love watching, and it's they don't talk as much. Like they just like you, it's literally just you're looking in a window to their life, which is really cool. You have Copics. I don't have Copics, but um, they're just so expensive over here in Australia. They're about nine dollars each, so I just haven't ever bothered. Can't afford them. I've got, what have I got? I've got multi line. Oh, I forgot what they're called now. My, um, hang on, just bear with me a second. Grab me a packet. I've got, what have I got? Mine are, oh, Shin Han touch liners. So, and I quite like using those, but they're not light fast, so you have to print them and stuff. Oh, so you're an Aussie, Obi. I didn't realise that. When you said you had red backs, because I know red backs are global, but they've got different names. I know they've got tons of red backs in Japan. But um, oh, so you're an Aussie. I didn't realise. I don't know why I didn't realise. Stop bringing up all these new media. I know. <laughs> it's all right. There's another one that I've heard about just recently called Mixer. And apparently it's a really good live streaming thing. And they've been taking people across from Twitch and YouTube and paying them millions of dollars to stream over there, trying to build it up. Yeah, Darren's Dazza, good old Aussie Dazza, and Lauren's Lozzy, Laurie's Lozza. <laughs> yeah, you should check it out, Zargo, seriously. And millions of dollars would be nice. <laughs> but you should check it out just for interest's sake. So I'm just popping cross-hatching on his legs. His legs down the bottom have got a little bit of hair but not much. So I'm just adding a little bit of cross-hatching. Oh, you have Mixer. Oh, that's cool. I like how these two meerkats are looking. Yeah, well, I've used, I think I showed before, I've used these photos. I've used two different photos. That's one photo I took at our zoo and, well, that's another one, and that's the, the little one. So that's that one and... That's that one that I'm, <laughs> what did I call you? Yeah. I meant the art medium, so I'll stop mentioning them to Laurie. Oh. <laughs> they're, well, they're, um, five minutes, all right, let's go get a beer. <laughs> yeah. The Aussie way. Um. So I'm just running down these legs. I've, got, I've done the other back leg in, so I'm going to do that actually with darker cross hatching. Just I've got to make that appear there. So I'm just going to do heavier cross hatching. The heavier press, the darker your ink will be. So just pop that in there and take that down. Yeah, I, I thought about going and having a look at Mixer, but I've got no idea. I think I'll just stick to YouTube and Twitch, but it'd be interesting to have a look and see what it's what it's all about. So now I'm just popping a bit more fur texture, taking it down his tail. So I've just about done the base on this 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 one. I'll just add a few different, I've got to get a, a piece of paper because I've got my ink needs blobbing. Actually, I can use the tape on the side because you've got to get rid of the build-up of ink. Even, even with these pens, the ink builds up on the nib and can leave unsightly blobs. So I need to unblob. So, yeah, loving, loving pen at the moment, guys. But, yeah, so, oh, yeah, we got onto spiders because of the prompt for... Um, Inktober 52, so I'm still tossing around whether I do a spider monkey or something for that. Thanks, Laurie. I love pen. I, it's my happy place, but I'm a drawer first. Like I, I have, I struggle with colour mixing. Like I've learnt heaps watching other people, but I don't have, I, I do struggle, I don't have an eye for colour mixing. I'm not a natural at it. <laughs> pen. I find it far easier and because I started I started with charcoals and stuff 
Um, when, when I was a kid, I used a lot of charcoal and because you could get the smudge effects and stuff like that. So I've sort of always worked with pens and pencils and not so much coloured pencils but graphite pencils, things like that. So pen drawing comes easier. But, um, I mean, I'm still learning, like with pencil and charcoal, which is probably my first medium that I ever, ever, ever did, um, I can smudge and move things around. Have you any of you seen Demoose? Yes, I follow him. He is incredible. He is insanely good. I follow him on YouTube and on Twitch. He is phenomenal. And his wildlife art is absolutely breathtaking. And he's he's like me, he's freehand. He doesn't he does it from sight. Like I love that. Like you know, anyone can trace, but De Moose does from sight, looking at a photograph or a picture of a person or whatever. Oh, love it. Love it. Could watch it all day long. Did you guess the portrait on my live stream? Yeah, because I've never seen that show either. <laughs> I've never seen that show either, but I want to. So I wouldn't have guessed it, even though she's beautiful. The, the portrait was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And that... Her her decorate her head decoration. When you said it looked in your stream, you said it looked like a what did you say? It looked like a fried egg. <laughs> I got a laugh. And um, but no, it doesn't look like a fried egg. It looks like a brass headpiece, like a head jewelry thing, a head a, a clippy thing. No, I know you got. That's the fun is you can do it over a couple of a couple of a couple of sessions. And see, I find that mesmerising to watch too. I got when I woke up this morning, I was going to get up and do a video, and I'm like, nope, I'm going to watch Laurie. So I watched your live stream. So everyone go back and check Laurie's live stream from last night. It was her first one, and she did awesomely well. I was feeding horses, so I didn't see your live stream. Oh, that's yeah, and and yeah, a lot, a lot of frolic yeah, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> when you said it, I looked at it, and went, okay, I could see that, but no, it looked like jewelry. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start on this one now and I'm going to get my bit of plastic, if I can find it. There it is, way over in the corner. My, oh, I've got to get a new piece because this one's fallen on the floor and been dogged and jumped on and there we go. So that way you can still see what I'm doing, but I won't smudge. Oh, I've got to get the other picture up. I'm still working from the, I'm working from the wrong picture. There we go. So now I'll pop this eye in. So I'll get both of them blocked in. Yeah, I've got to get – actually, Laurie's inspired me to get going on people again. I haven't done people for ages. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely inspired just by watching what she's done recently. But then I keep going back to animals. <laughs> I was just drawing whatever face I came across. Yep. Yeah. I only started faces four weeks ago. Yeah, I know that's that's what amazes me is how much how how far you've come in such a short time with your people portraits. You're just a natural at it, but everyone finds their specialty, and I think portraits are definitely a good one for you, Miss Laurie. And now you've got an editor and everything. Ah, <laughs> oh. hi, Warra Weary. How are you going? So I had one of my nephews and I drew a girl from a random thumbnail. Oh, cool. Have you posted them? I haven't. I must admit I've been so busy. I haven't really checked out a lot online. I've been literally arting and sleeping and that's it. So I haven't really checked out the the different videos and stuff. I've watched managed to watch a handful. Then I watched the video that thumbnail was about and the photo was of a YouTube female who copyright striked anyone who even just mentioned it. Oh, my God, really? Oh, he quit, did he? Oh. <laughs> so I'm, oh, uh, oh, you can't quit. It was entertaining, Dazza. Dazza Squarebox, you can't quit on her. She needs you. 
I need you. I need to hire you. You need to do it so you can sell your services. <laughs> you can do my editing as well. <laughs> you can't quit. Yeah, Obi does awesome doodle art. It's really cool. So I'm not showing that on here. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, there's some there's some definitely some unusual characters out there that are that will do anything to cause trouble. They take it all a bit too far. They like they love the drama. I think I can't be bothered. Life is way too short for any kind of drama. I walk away. <laughs> Jenny Cubicle with frosted windows. You are evil, Dazza. Dazza. Actually, I thought I was a polygon or a hexagon. <laughs> <laughs> I had many square sides. Actually, no, I'm actually an ellipse. <laughs> Good morning, Aldo. How are you going? Thanks for coming. <laughs> like you and Laurie, I thought you meant to find trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're I think Laurie and I are trouble magnets. We're consistent. I think we might be trouble magnets just quietly but not drama magnets. <laughs> People go overboard with copyright. People just take everything so far. I can't be bothered. I like my happy bubble. Not a cube, Dazza. My happy bubble. Not my happy cube. <laughs> I try to only do positive if I can. There are days where it's hard, but I generally try to do positive if I can. And if I see something that's even remotely argumentative, it's gone in about three seconds. <laughs> Switched off real quick. Yeah, it can be. It really can be. It can be risky. And I have heard of people getting harassed quite badly. God knows why or how, but, yeah, I've heard of it happening. And that would be so awful. I do like your thumbnail. Very good. Very, very clever. People go overboard. Yeah. Trouble sisters. Yeah, the, tr the, tr the trouble twins. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm just adding... The fur on this one now. What phone do I have? I use an iPhone 11 Plus and I've got my old iPhone, God knows what iPhone, that I'm using for my use for my music and my photo references. But I've, I just got the new iPhone 11 because of the camera and I love the camera. So when I do my normal YouTube videos, I use my iPhone to film. Like today, this my live streams, because I haven't got a thousand subs, I'm using a webcam because it won't let you do it on a iPhone until you've got a certain or on a mobile anything until you've got the thousand subs. So I use a webcam for live stream and an iPhone for everything else, and I can do everything on it. So it's nice and simple. Some people found out that if anyone mentioned to put art on a T-shirt, there are some people who had bots that pick. Photo and put it on red bubble on a t-shirt. Wow! Who had bots that nickname? Nick the. Wow! Yeah. See, that's there's so much stuff goes on. Yeah. See it. Yeah. Nah. Luckily, I also think I'm only little, so they're not going to bother with me. And there's plenty of good artists out there to, to steal art from. <laughs> they won't bother with mine. So people started to do Disney knockoffs. Oh, I know. Oh, are they really? I see. I didn't realise that. I thought Redbubble was a good um, outlet for people to sort of get their stuff sold on. But, but actually legitimately sold on. I had no idea that they were dodgy. So if you look for it on Redbubble and similar sites, you'll find that kind of stuff. Oh, there you go. So I'm now just adding the base coat on this other meerkat. 
and a little bit of fur texture. I start to get some down his shoulder. And it's just lots of little line work and varying the pressure to get the darkness in the shading. Anyone with Baby Yoda? Oh, my God. Didn't that go nuts? Everyone was doing Baby Yoda. But, yeah, Disney's going going mad and hitting people like crazy. But I thought it was only if you sold it. I thought you could you could make it, but as long as you weren't making money off it. But I don't know how that works. I just, oh yeah, it's just easier to be original. I'm not a fan art person. I appreciate it, but it doesn't interest me as, a, as an artist. I appreciate watching it and I enjoy watching people who do it well. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's not my kettle of fish. I'm, I like working from my own references or photographs of animals or more yeah fan arts dangerous ground I think nope can't even make it wow there you go so you learn something new well I've seen quite a lot of people who've made some really nice copies of um baby Yoda and also what was the other one that the, the Star Wars character that they went mad on drawing him for ages. The guy in the armor. Can't remember what he was called now. If you think about doing Baby O promotes your media channels. Yeah, I suppose it really does, doesn't it? It's clickbait. Okay, so now I'm gonna add starting to get there. I think about it. Doing Baby Yoda promotes, yeah, I read that before, yeah. No, it definitely does. I haven't even seen that movie yet. <laughs> I need to see it because I'm a, I'm a Star Wars person, but, um, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I've got to have a cinema day and take the kids and go to the movies and see some of the latest ones. I get some sales on Redbubble, but I've got problems with PayPal. PayPal can be can be trouble. I haven't heard great things. Have not heard great things about PayPal at all. I had a friend who had to wait months for their money for whatever reason. And they wouldn't get back onto her. And it just took forever. She ended up in the end, she got her money. She was selling a saddle. And um, and it was all fine and everything went through okay. But, yeah, for whatever reason, they didn't pay her. They, well, they did in the end, but it just took them forever. Just call them if you have issues. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't heard great things. But you know what? It's just I suppose it depends on the day and who you get, like anything. There's good and bad in everything. You take them both together. Yeah, I just have a, a general general little bank account, just a, its own, it never has a whole lot of money in it, and I just use that because if any hackers get into it, well, they're not going to get anything. <laughs> so I just use a proper bank account rather than PayPal. But it's its own little thing. Yeah, some some banks don't accept it. I mean, a lot here, here in Australia, we're pretty lucky. Everything's pretty much accepted. But some um, around here, you know, we can do pretty much anything. But I've used PayPal for years for heaps of things and never had any issues yet. I did one transfer, once transfer a lot of money to the wrong number. Oh, wow. God, you sounds like you have had the good end of it. Well, that's good to hear. That is good to hear. It's nice to hear something positive because I haven't <laughs> until now. So that's good. So I'm just shadowing in now. This leg has got shadow on his fur. It's PayPal sites. That... Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I've never, I've never really, because uh, I hadn't heard great things, I hadn't really looked into it. So 
I'm just going to take that. I'm going to leave a little highlight on that leg. Oh, Laurie, you're evil. Yes, she does love art and she's very good at art. <laughs> You're a dag. You're a dag. So I'm just popping this fur in, trying to definitely, the trick with pen is keeping the fur direction. It gives it perspective as well as makes it look alive. There was an artist here on YouTube who had massive problems with them too. She had made a typo when she ended her bank account. Oh, and they used that as an excuse to hold her money. Oh, no. Are you off? Okay, I'll catch you later. But Obi, have a good day or night. I know you're in Australia. Have a good day. Awesome. The same time as us-ish. So have a great day, kiddo. Um, so I'm popping this fur down here now, taking it down onto the paws. And just getting lighter towards the end of his paws. Yeah, that's that's horrifying when you're dependent on it. That could be very scary, but I mean that happens in everything. They need an excuse to they just need an excuse to hold your money. And I suppose it depends on countries and whereabouts, who you're dealing with. And Yeah, I've never dealt with Etsy ever, 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 so can't wouldn't have a clue. I know they upped their fees, but that's all I know. I don't know anything else about them at all. But I do need to learn because I want to start making prints and things. So I need to learn about this stuff. So I want to make, I'm tossing around doing a colouring book with animals. And I want to make prints. So I need to get onto it. So I need to look at Etsy or Redbubble or one of those things. Just do a bit of research and find a good one. See who the majority uses and the least complaints about because I think everything's going to have problems and you can't, it's just life. Yeah, stickers would be cool. Stickers would be cool and they're affordable. And key tags, you know, like the things you hang on your keychains, on your car lot, on your car keys and stuff, they'd be awesome. One of the girls here, she's a beautiful, beautiful artist and she makes bag tags and key tags. And she does Australian wildlife and she's in um, one of the art groups that I exhibit with. Um, I've gone completely blank on her name, but she's got a website and she does amazing art. I'll find it for you and tag it after. But, um, yeah, you can make some awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm currently working on a website. Yeah, I've got no idea. I, I, I wouldn't have a clue about setting up a website. I think it's pretty important in this day and age, but I've got no idea and I don't really want to pay anyone to do it <laughs> unless it's a friend who can do it. I prefer to pay a friend over a company to do a colouring. Yeah, I've, you have heaps of art people would support. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And colouring books, you know, it's a thing. It's, it's adult colouring books. I would, I'm going to do an animal one. I've just got to get, we've actually got, a, a, I want to call it an editing company. I forgot what it's called here. I've got a, a book, people that make books down the road from us. So I've got to drop down there and have a word about how to go about it. i got more that would spend all their time making sure that I never sold a copy. No, really? Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good at all. 
So under here on his underbelly is really dark. So I'm just going to go quite heavily with the pen into the shadow areas on this meerkat, filling in the gaps there. Oh, uh, I've, yeah, I've, there's, I love, it's a, oh, I've gone completely blank on names, but there's a couple of beautiful wildlife artist um, books, colouring books, but they're in grayscale. So they're, they're, like, they're filled in in grayscale pretty much. So they're almost a completed piece. You could pull them out of the book and hang them up. Um, like they're that incredible, but you can add colour. Um, I saw a copy of it on... Where did I see the copy of it on? Who do I follow? I can't remember who I follow now. Names elude me. Again, I'll pop it in the links later. <laughs> I'll pop it in the in the description when I figure it out and remember. I <laughs> oh, see. I love grayscale. Love it. As you can tell, I'm doing pen because <laughs> I find color can be intimidating. The mixing of the color. I love watching people who can do it, but I just, yeah, my I struggle with it so bad. I think I've found my um my thing is 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 monotone black and white. And definitely pen. I love pen. So and people like Demoose make their their channels popular with just doing one medium, so they can do it. I can do it. <laughs> it's a niche, isn't it? We all have our niche. Good night, Nettie. Thank you for coming. Got to get up and check the cows. Oh, God, that's up at the crack of dawn, isn't it, cat? Oh, my God. I had a friend who was a dairy farmer. And they, Yeah, God, they were always out with the cows, milking and checking them and calving and, oh, my God. That's a lifestyle. That's not a hobby. That's not, that's hard work, hard work, working with cattle. People making all sorts of threats towards one another because someone got some pencils they can't afford. Pardon? That's bizarre. That's terrible. That's unacceptable. That should be banned. That shouldn't be allowed. That's that's bullying. And I, Yeah, that is, that, 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 yeah, that's not good. Oh, I'll have a cup of two, thanks, Jane. <laughs> Milk and sugar, please. Or um, sugarine if you've got it. <laughs> and twinings or Earl Grey. <laughs> oh, that's sad. I think our art communities. Pretty damn good. We've got some awesome people out here. I mean, just look around at you, lovely bunch. Everyone gets along. Everyone supports everyone else. It's just how it should be. How it should be. She used clear light. <gasps> Oh, sorry, um, I missed a question. Oh, it's on its way. Oh, cool, cool, cool. She uses a clear lay to lean on. Yes, I use, it's a piece of um, acetate. Get it from any uh, any office shop. They use it for printers and stuff. I'm not 100% sure why, but it is awesome. So you guys can still see what I'm working on, but it's, um, it's yeah, it stops me from, because I, I work the wrong direction. I need to, I should work from left to right but I have this thing working right to left. So I always smudge my work. <laughs> yeah, it's really handy, really good stuff. And because, yeah, as you can see, my hand is resting on, on this little fella over here. He'd be a, a mess by the time I finished. Love that. Love the, I've got to get another piece, though, because this one's looking a bit worse for wear. It's getting a bit rugged looking. You can get it anywhere. Yep, anywhere, any office shop, any art. Most art shops have it in some form or another. Um, I actually used to use like a light baking paper as well before I got this. 
Yeah, I'm the same, Laurie. If I see bullying, I, I report them immediately. I just don't stand for it. Don't stand for it. Like the, what do you call them? The, I was on a channel watching the one day and this poor girl had, what do they call them, a, the online bullies? A troll attacking her art, like being really malicious. And so I just reported every comment. I'm like, no, nah, you're gone, mate. You don't be mean to people like that. So I just got straight on, looked up their page, reported them to YouTube. Funnily enough, all their messages were retracted, all their nasty messages got retracted real quick. I have loads from packaging I always keep. Oh, cool, perfect. Oh, thanks, Slee Stack. That's sweet. Yeah, it's just practice, 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 practice. Because <laughs> I, I literally draw all day, every day. It's all I do, who I am. When I finish drawing, I take my notebook and sit on the couch in the lounge room and I draw in there then. <laughs> so I've got notebooks everywhere, little sketch pads and pens everywhere. Got them in my car, in my handbag, next to my couch. <laughs> Yeah, I was bullied as a child too, and I, I've all I still get upset about it. Thirty years later, what do I want to know? Forty years later, I still get upset about it. It's affected me my whole life, so it's unacceptable on any grounds ever. And I'm glad YouTube acts on it. So, you know, they actively try and stop it now, which is good. Um, I love watching us. Oh, yeah, I can watch people. I just watch people for hours on end. I've always got either YouTube or Twitch on in the background. And, yeah, I, I just I'm mesmerised watching how people work. And everyone's got their own style, which is I find fascinating. If you look at the young mangana artists, they're nasty to each other. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't I haven't checked them out at all. They're not my that's not my thing. Like I said, I appreciate it, but it's not my thing. I tend to stick to um, traditional art and classical art and things like that. I was I was bullied until I started handing out black eyes. Go you, go Zago. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I was the easy target. They attacked me because they knew I wouldn't fight back because I can't fight to save myself. So they used to pick on me because I was easy target. And a nerd. <laughs> I have nerd. I'm a nerd. Out and proud. Definitely a nerd. And a bit of a loner. So I'm happy in my own space. I just need a couple of dogs and a cat and my world's happy. <laughs> so I'm just popping the shadowing on this leg now. They were tough as a group. I waited until they were all by themselves. That's what you got to do. My mum was not happy how often I had to stay after normal school hours because I beat someone up. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, so even for defending yourself, you ended up in, in strife. Sometimes you just can't win. Sometimes you just can't win. So the fur on this one's belly. I've got to, it sort of comes up there. So I'm just going to go over with long strokes just to fill in the gaps. And darken up. They sort of got stripy, so I'm just going to roughly pop the stripy bits in like that and then fill in between. Take that right down. These are turning out pretty cute, I think. 
My dad called the schoolmaster and asked why I was there alone. Where were the bullies? Oh. And all of a sudden they actually did something. Wow. Yeah, it's global, isn't it? So it happens everywhere. Our schools over here have cracked right down on it now. Now you get two warnings. If you're a bully, you you get kicked out of school. It's not even not even suspended. It's it's kicked out. It's like you're out. They don't. They have a zero tolerance to bullying at the schools around here, which is really good. And my girls went to the, those schools, and it was just wonderful. Both of them finished. Both neither of them were bullied. It was one. I was so relieved when they got through school without any issues. Once my brother beat up a boy who decided to keep kicking me on my <gasps> spotted my brother across the road and he sorted out the billet bully. God, God, everyone's got a story to tell, haven't they? It's amazing. It's amazing. Us artistic types get bullied a lot. But I think my era, because, you know, that little bit older, I don't know how old you guys are, but I'm sort of heading to the head, halfway to 100. And, um, yeah, it was a different era. And bullying wasn't acceptable, but they didn't do anything about it. <laughs> Where now they're more proactive about stopping it, which is a good thing. Pulled my youngest out of school and homeschooled. Yeah, I heard you were talking about that in your live stream. Yes. God, I don't know that I, I'm not smart enough to be able to homeschool. I, I would have loved to, but that would have been ideal. But I just, I have, I'm not smart enough. I'm not good at, I'm a slow, slow learner and I wouldn't be able to teach. And you've got to know the curriculum and know everything and I'm there. Uh, I wouldn't have a hope. Son was coming home with huge bruises. Oh, big kid was punching him in the arm. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, goodness. Okay. Popping these paws in. So I've got the base. I'm just going to start building the darkest darks now, I reckon. Just going to go back into this first one and start to just go over now anywhere that's really dark. So this is sort of the final stage of a pen drawing. I've got to do the whiskers on this one, whisker dots. So there's not a great deal left. I've just got to do the darkest darks and the finest details. I did high school through distance education. I had real teachers. Oh, awesome. I literally lost it. I, yeah, exactly. It was all talk and written down information. Wow. Actually, yeah, friends of mine live up north in Australia and they're too far from anywhere. They're like seven hours by plane. Well, not seven hours by plane. They live on about 150,000 acres, so they can't get their kids to school. So they homeschooled. But they had a live-in teacher, a live-in nanny teacher, and they did their school for four hours a day. And they learnt more doing that than going to school. They learnt school of the air, they call it, radio school. So they learnt more doing that. They were, so, they, and they got through it so fast. Like you were saying, Laurie, about your son. They learn so fast because they're focused. They're not distracted. They haven't got other kids to compete with. They're not missing things at the back. It's all one-on-one -on -one and it makes such a difference. Such a difference. One of my husband's cousins homeschools her kids, and it's brilliant. But I'm I wouldn't have the confidence. But like you said, if you can get them online, oh thanks, Jane. Yeah, I love my drawing. I love drawing. Drawing is just my it's my piece of heaven. My absolute piece of heaven. My favorite thing to do in the world. Absolute favorite thing to do is just sit down with a pen. Or pencil and just draw and I'm learning heaps thanks Sargo I've got to, I've got to check out your chickens you need to show me your chickens <laughs> good 
because I love chickens. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, yeah, it's my happy place. <laughs> Definitely my happy place just sitting here drawing and chatting with you guys. Doesn't get much better than this. Does not get much better than this. So I'm just darkening things up. Yeah, there's no mistakes in art. Exactly. You just do what you do. And, you know, I've done. <laughs> I did a piece yesterday. Oh, my God, it was so funny. I made a mistake. I did, I did some water buffalo and I did a calf and I ended up, I totally butchered the calf, like totally ruined it. But I, I made a joke of it. It was funny. I ended up sticking sticky tape over it. <laughs> He couldn't see it anymore, but God, it was funny. But um, yeah, I totally botched it by trying to fix it. I fiddled and fiddled and fiddled and turned it into a complete mess. The thing ended up looking like a dog, or it didn't even look like a dog. I don't know what it looked like, but it was just wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a bit nuts. It was a bit nuts, but oh God, I laughed. And because I draw so much, I don't often sort of have it where it's unfixable. Usually I can adjust something and fix it. But, yeah, nah, this poor little buffalo, I totally wrecked it. <laughs> so now it's a new saying is, yeah, if I buffaloed it, I buffalo calfed it, I've wrecked it. <laughs> I gave most of... Oh, hang on, look, me mousy do that. I gave most away to friends as gifts. I have one of my... Well, oh, cool, in loads of stuff it was looking through. I love it when you find your old art. It's like treasures. I just said, what about baby bison to Laurie? <laughs> I bitched at a nudes class when I was a teen. The teacher told me to come back Thursday and take the photographer class instead. Really? <laughs> Watched earlier or cooking it up. Cool. What are we having for dinner, Jane? <laughs> or what did we have for dinner? I think I'm having lamb tonight. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was chatting to Laurie when I when I met wrecked me wrecked me calf. God, it was funny. She was. I laughed. God, I've laughed so hard in a long time. <laughs> Actually, I'll show you what I did. It's really funny. It's in my bin next to me. So wait for it, guys. This is my bison, and this is my calf, and what I did with my calf. That's what you do when it goes horribly wrong. <laughs> You stick tape on it and it disappears. Problem solved. That's how I fix my problems on pen. <laughs> it was so funny. God, that was funny. But yeah, that's living in my bin now, guys. <laughs> uh, I actually might keep it just for, just for a joke. Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely genified. <laughs> But I, I like I, t I turned it into the, take the take the tape off. Okay, I will. You watch this. You just watch this. It's going to be a horrendous mess because it turned into like an orange blob. Hang on, I've got to get me. I've got to get something to scrape it off with because my tape's all. For once, the tape's stuck. Hang on, wait for it. Wait for it. The unveiling. Okay, its bottom was okay, but its face we had issues, and it's orange, and it wasn't meant to be orange. <laughs> so wait for it. Hang on. You'd think fingernails would be helpful, wouldn't you? Oops. Uh-oh. I think I'm going to tear him now. There we go. doesn't really matter. So look at that for a horrendous look. It's a wombat. <laughs> it looks like a wombat. Look at it. So from there, it's okay. But I tried to fix it, tried to fix it. So that's what happens when it goes horribly wrong for me. <laughs> okay, back in the bin. It's gone now. We don't need to look at that anymore. <laughs> Weird. I've lost connection on my phone, but not on my top. That is weird. I got a portrait. You got a portrait of a buffalo lying around. Cool. I love them. They're magnificent creatures. Absolutely magnificent. We've got um, well that one again going to the zoo. My daughter went to our zoo, and they've got they've got the the calf, the baby buffalo or baby bison. Sorry. And that was running around. She's got video footage of it bolting around like, you know, how horses bolt around and play and buck and carry on and kick up in the air. It was doing that and it was so funny because they're so ungainly looking with their giant shoulders. 
It sort of looked like an animal, sort of. <laughs> I, I was, yeah, but just the totally wrong species. <laughs> Turned into a whole other species of animal. <laughs> Phones back on, awesome. Yeah, I have like giant thumbs and fingers, like all my fingers are thumbs, and I can't. I, I'm a shocking typer, and bloody spell check, excuse the French, but spell check and I are not friends. It keeps replacing my words with stuff. Okay, I need to find my other reference, that one, and I've got to darken up this guy's back and a few spots. It was almost done when I realised I'd forgotten all about the ear. Oh, no. See, ears. It's ears. That's where I started. That's what That was the beginning of the end of my bison was his ear. I kept trying to fix his damn ear and it just fell apart from there. One must stay away from ears of any cow-like creature, I've decided. It's just an accident waiting to happen. And, yes, autocorrect was a stupid idea. <laughs> I prefer to have misspelling than the whole wrong word. So, yeah, I've just got to figure out how to turn it off because I quite often I'll be typing something and it'll auto-correct. Like <laughs> and, geez, it sticks some weird stuff in. And I read it back afterwards because I type it up and, and looking at something else. And then I look back and see what I've written and it's like, oh, my God, that makes no sense at all. How on earth did spell correct come up with that? <coughs> Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm starting to come down with a cold and I'm getting a sore throat. So a little bit hoffy coffee. Um, I erased the whole side of the head and put it back in. Oh, see, I, I yeah, because I did it in ink. I couldn't erase and I couldn't do anything. So I just kept making it bigger and bigger and bigger until it looked like a wombat. Damn, you ought to create. No, I don't. <laughs> Sounds fun, though. Sounds like the kind of channel that I need to check out because I reckon it would be funny. I reckon there'd be some interesting autocorrects. <laughs> So get back to the task at hand and pop some shadow in under his arm. And get some more mottly bits in amongst his fur on his back. Because they've got, like, pattern. There are some life-changing corrections on there. Oh, oops. <laughs> Don't show it to underage kids. <laughs> okay, sounds like fun. I know what I'm doing after this. <laughs> I'm going to check that out. Need a good laugh. Love a good laugh. Don't have any underages here. All my mob are over 18, which is cool. We're actually over 21 now. <coughs> all my mob are growed, all grown up. So I'm just doing scribbles now. Oh, yeah, I know. I was so spewing I didn't get to see Chrissy because I love watching Chrissy, but it's always the middle of the night for me. I was spewing. I would have loved to. I'm, yeah, I miss seeing her shows because sometimes I'll wake up at like 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock and I get to see her. But, yeah, I haven't the last couple of times. I'll have to go and watch a rerun of it. Because you guys are so much fun. Oh, my God. I don't, I laugh so hard watching her stuff because she's so funny and everyone there's so, got great senses of humour. It's always so much fun. Anyone who hasn't heard of Chrissy Canvas Art, look her up. Anyone on your side, that side of the world, Chrissy Canvas Art. She does live streams once a week and she is so much fun and a brilliant artist. You've got to pop across. If you haven't seen her, check her out. <laughs> I always laugh. There's not one of her art things that I don't laugh. Oh, now I'm spewing. I missed it. I'll have to go watch it. Okay, so I'm just adding squiggles. Because, yeah, usually it's like two in the morning, two or three in the morning she's on here. Yeah, you got to check her out, Zargo. She is fabulous. She is fabulous. Yeah, Chrissy Canvas Art. So, yeah, she's a must watch. So fun. Always so fun. And she does everything. She does mixed. She does animals. She does landscapes. 
She does surreal. She does everything. So, and good fun to boot. Good laugh. English sense of humour. Yeah, I've, I've stayed. Well, that's the thing. I've stayed up a couple of times and I've woken up a couple. I've set my alarm. So, like, when I'm on there, I've usually set my alarm to be able to be there to watch because I have so much fun there. You know, they're just such an awesome bunch of people. So I have set my alarm, but the last few weeks, because I've been doing so much streaming and video making and everything else, I just have, you know, the sleep that I'm getting, I just haven't been able to wake up that time. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah, you'll love her, Zargo. She's fabulous. <laughs> I just laugh thinking about it. Like the one day she was painting and she's talking away and she would forgot to turn her mic on. Well, then she's realised and she started, started like miming. Oh, for God's sake, I laughed so hard. I, I was choking laughing. <laughs> Just thinking about it, I'm going to start choking laughing again. But, yeah, I'm, I, I, yeah I, I try to set my alarm and my reminders but the last few days I just haven't been able to. I've just been so flat out. Like even last night. I was. I had everything sorted. I was going to sit and watch Laurie's stream because Laurie did a live stream. You want to see someone else who's awesome and funny. And um, I was going to sit and watch Laurie's stream and I fell asleep. <laughs> I just passed out. I was just went out like a light. And that wasn't even that late. That was like a 10, 10 o'clock or something, 9, 9 30, 10 30, something like that. So it wasn't even terribly late, but I just fell asleep on the, I just fell asleep sitting there. That was the end of me. Oh, she's amazing, Zargo. <laughs> it was so funny. But, yeah, she started miming and I don't think I've ever seen anything so hilarious. And she's got, she's got a toy bear that's like her mascot, one of her friends, one of the artists made for her. Gorgeous little teddy bear. And what's his name? Crack on, because you've got to get crack on. Get a crack on. <laughs> so she's got crack on the bear. Yeah, I can't, it, was, it was a while ago. It was quite a while ago. But, yeah, when she one of the, one of the ones where she'd used a hairdryer and then forgot to turn her mic on and she started just pulling faces. So she realised her mic was off and started pulling faces and talking really, like, really exaggerated at the camera. Oh, God, it was awesome. <laughs> I love a laugh. Love a laugh. Okay, cool. I'll catch you in a little bit, Loz. Under the lorry files. Yes. Lorry has an awesome fun channel. And she just started, well, she did a live stream last night, which was brilliant. So very entertaining and a great artist indeed. And you'll have to go over to Twitch and watch there too because <laughs> then you have hours of fun, endless hours of fun. <laughs> That's what I'll be doing this afternoon. That's what Brits do when people don't understand English. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't need to pee last night because it was one of those, oh, my God, awesome. <laughs> they speak louder and exaggerate their pronunciation. Yeah, it's true. And so do we, Australia. we Australians. We get slower. We go... And can you, we sort of sound like Dory the fish when she speaks well. It's like, do you speak whale? That was my whale impersonation from Dory from Finding Nemo. <laughs> Getting off track just a little bit. Yeah, we speak slower, but we still mispronounce everything. to stick a lot of words in where they shouldn't be and mispronounce things deliberately. <laughs> so I'm just going to add the finishing touches on this one's little inside leg. It's got to darken up. Hello, Alora, uh, Angie, how are you going? I'm meerkatting with pen today. We're ballpoint pen meerkatting. For a bit of fun. <coughs> so, and I've just about 
got to do the ground. I haven't done any ground, so I'm just going to do – oh, I haven't done his feet. I forgot his feet. Silly me, look at that. I forgot his toesies. Thank you. Yeah, no, I've, I've loved drawing meerkats. <laughs> meerkats and mice are probably my favourite subjects. They're just too cute. Right up there with – actually, I must admit, four, and deer fawns. I love deer fawns. So pop the ground in. I'm not going into a lot of detail with the toes because it's not the centre of the focus. And someone came over to me and said loud and slow, hello, I am Michaela Doyle's wife, pointing at the dude I didn't know. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what did you do? How did you respond? Did you talk equally as slowly back? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So I'm just going to cross hatch to make shadow under the tail. I'm laughing in, I'm inwardly here. <laughs> just thinking about that, thinking, oh my God, how would that be? <laughs> yeah, hello, anyone, if I've missed anyone. Thanks for coming. So I'm just going to, oops, so Daisy, you've lost me, lost me a bit of, bit of paper, a bit of acetate. Bring it back again. So just cross, hatch, cross, hatch, cross, hatch until I get the shadow that I want. Said it was nice to meet her and what do you say? In the, yeah, true. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Oops, I'll go get the acetate under there so I don't smudge because it'll take a little while to dry. It's only normal ink, but it's still quite wet for a while. Now I'm just going to squiggle over the top in the darkest bits, just like little circle squiggles, just to create a bit of deeper colour or deeper tone, rather. She got all red and apologised, said she thought I was my hubby's foreign wife. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you a funny story. Oh, my God. One of my best friend, like, uh, and I, Cowdy, uh, Kelly, we went to an exhibition because we quite often would art show together. We'd do ex ex exhibitions together. And um, we went to this one and she's about, she's a six foot tall, dark hair, um, really, really sort of, you know, you're not your standard looking person. She's incredibly tall, like a glamazon. Anyway, we're at this art opening and she's standing there. We're both looking at this painting and this guy comes up behind her, picks her up off the ground and swings her round. Anyway, <laughs> she's turned around and his wife looked like her and he thought that that was his wife, so he's picked Ke Kelly up. <laughs> and lucky she had an awesome sense of humour. We, we just all started laughing because he was so mortified when she turned around and he realised it wasn't his wife that he'd pick up and swung around. <laughs> it was so funny. And it could only happen to Kel. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. It was so hilarious. So, yeah, oh, my God. We laughed so hard. <laughs> and the poor guy, oh, God, he, he was so beside himself. <laughs> but, yeah, his wife was wearing the same kind of jacket and the same kind of tall. But, well, yeah, exactly. That There was, there was lots of things that could have happened. <laughs> Yeah, lucky you didn't. Oh, my God. And, and she's a really good sport. Excuse me, my dogs are going bananas. You need to go outside then, puppy loopies. That's Pippi. <laughs> she just wants to go out. Okay, I reckon. Actually, no, I haven't done the fur up here. I've got to find my other reference photo. I've got to do a bit more. Yeah. Whoops. I'm sorry, guys. I apologise for my doggies. They're just doing what Jack Russells do best. That's right. They're outside now. They've gone flying out there. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, he'd likely clocked him. Yeah. <laughs> no, she just, she just looked at him and laughed and said, do I know you? <laughs> and he was horrified. Oh, but she's got a funny sense of humour. Like she's got a fantastic sense of humour, so it went well. If it had been anyone else, might not have been so lucky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a drama. There's always drama, always drama. 
Yeah, I've been to some fun art shows. Oh, my God. Because we have probably – I'm with a couple of art clubs over here and we have a couple, We have a festival, um, the Macedon Rangers Art Trail, and we have weeks of different exhibitions. So it's it's good fun. Mind you, now I'm doing this. I haven't really got time for that. This is taking up all my time, but I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it. And I've got a global audience. Hey, Mum. Hey, hey Bag. That's my daughter. <laughs> Okay, so to pop the shadow under this tail, and I think I'm just about going to call this done, guys. What do you reckon? I reckon I'm just about done for a ballpoint pen drawing. In how long has it been? An hour and a half. Not bad. He might have been looking up off the floor. <laughs> yeah, nah. Just laughed it off. And then we had introductions and his wife, when his wife was there, they had introductions and we were all having a bit of a laugh about it. And, um, yeah, she really did look like Kel. <laughs> so it was a legit mistake. <laughs> but it was so funny. All right. I reckon I am done. Okay. I'm going to pop my autograph in this corner. And I'm so glad it didn't turn into the bison. I didn't have a bison moment. So <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming, guys. And I'm going to live stream. I'm not, not going to throw in any randoms now. I'm going to focus on this and Twitch. So I'll only be live streaming on Saturday, same time, same channel next Saturday. So I shall see you guys then. But I shall see you three videos during the week. So, yes, look forward to catching up with you, all you guys and all your videos. I'm going to take this afternoon and sit back and watch everyone's work because I haven't managed to catch up. So have an awesome day, night, morning, evening, and I will see you when I'm looking at you. Okie dokie, guys. Bye.